Hello YouTubers, I hope you've been good. This tutorial isn't anything new. I decided to read you platform game tutorial 1 and 2 in a clearer manner and separate it into sections and add a few extra stuff. So here goes. In this tutorial, we will be doing basic character movement. Basically moving left and right, like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer and call it Actions. And I'm going to call this one Player. Now I'm going to bring this Circle 2 Movie Clip to the Player layer and go to Properties and give it an instance name of player underscore mc. By the way, this is just a regular circle movie clip with dimensions 40 by 40. Now we need to write some code. I'm going to open up the actions panel by going to window actions or press F9 on your keyboard. Now usually Flash imports classes that you use when you're coding automatically but I'm going to import them myself. We need two classes in this tutorial, and they are Keyboard Event and Event. So, import flash.events.keyboardEvent and import flash.events.event. Next, we are going to make some boolean variables to help us move the player when a particular key is held down. Those keys will be the right, left, up, and down keys. So let's give them names associated with these keys. Type var, right key is down. Boolean, which equals false. Var. Left key is DOM. Boolean, which equals false. VAR, UP key is DOM. Boolean, equals false. VAR, DOM key is DOM. Boolean, which equals false. I'm also going to make an integer variable for the player speed. So let's type var player speed int and it will equal to 7. Now we are going to add event listeners to the stage to listen for when a key is down and when a key is up and each one will run a function. Type stage dot add event listener keyboard event dot key down and the function it will run will be press a key. Close bracket semicolon. Now type stage dot add event listener Keyboard event dot key up. Release a key. Now we are going to define two functions. Let's first define a press a key. Type function press a key. It takes one parameter, which is the event. As a standard, some people like to call this E or event. I'll call it event. So, event, keyboard event, void. And open and close curly brackets. Now we only want something to happen if certain keys are pressed. So we are going to write some if statements 
to do something only when the key code is a particular value. Type if event.keycode is equal to keyboard.write. Open and close curly brackets. Right key is DOM equals true. Now let's do this for the other keys. If event.keycode is equal to keyboard.left, then left key is DOM equals true. If event.keycode is equal to keyboard.up, then up key is down equals true. If event.keycode is equal to keyboard dot down then down key is down equals true now to define the release a key function it will be the same as the press a key function except we change the boolean variables to false Type function release a key event dot keyboard event void open and close curly brackets and inside type if event dot key code is equal to keyboard dot write then right key is down equals false. If event.keycode is equal to keyboard.left, Left key is down equals false. If event dot key code is equal to keyboard dot up, then up key is down equals false. If event dot key code is equal to keyboard dot down, then down key is down equals false. Now all that's left is to make the function that helps control the player and we want it to run every frame. So we're going to add an event listener to the player which will be an enter frame event and that listener will run a function every frame. To do that type player underscore mc dot add event listener event dot enter underscore frame 
Move the player. Close bracket. Now let's define the move the player function. Type function move the player. Event colon event void open and close brackets and inside type if right key is down then player underscore mc dot x plus equals player speed if left key is down then player underscore mc dot x minus equals player speed Since this function runs every frame, what this does is whenever the right key is down, variable is true, then the value of player speed is added to the player x position, and when the left key is down, variable is true, the value player speed is subtracted from the player's x position. Now let's test the movie by going to Control, test movie, test, or press control plus enter. Now let's press the left and right keys and the player should move left and right. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope it was clearer and explained more. Follow up on the next tutorial which will be about floor detection and jumping.